Well, I managed to get all these beauties through a week of 100 degree days back in June by watering them three times a day, a lot, like a good soaking. And we are now into the Kansas's hell on earth time frame of the summer. Three weeks coming up where it's going to be brutally hot. So we'll see if I can make them last through that. Hi guys, Monica from Auburn Hill Homestead. Uh, like I said, it's going to be hot for the foreseeable future. For those of you who don't know, Kansas is bitterly cold, freeze your snot out in the wintertime, and blast furnace your face in the summertime. <laughs> but I don't know. I still love it here, as weird as that is. Um, garden has started really going. Peppers are going nuts, and my eggplants have taken off. They're Japanese string eggplants, not the typical um, heirloom variety from Baker Creek. And turns out I'm the only person in my house who likes eggplant. So now what do I do with all that extra? Um, I am also a major, major pickle lover. So we're going to go ahead and pickle some eggplant and have it for antipasto dishes little side dishes and stuff. So come on and I'll show you how I'm gonna pickle some eggplant. Cut up your eggplant. You see, this is not your typical eggplant. I grew an heirloom variety of Japanese eggplant from Baker Creek Seed. Um, so I did not go ahead and peel the skin off because it's very soft. There's no need to. If you're using regular eggplant, which is totally fine, go ahead and peel the skin off because it's typically a lot tougher than this. And I mean, I just went ahead and sliced them into half inch rounds. Um, regular eggplant, go ahead and slice some thin little sticks that are perfect for grabbing out of the jar and bite size. You want to go ahead and put a layer down, salt, layer down, salt, layer down, salt, um, which I had already done. That's why this looks like this. I got a little ahead of myself before getting the video camera. Um, but then just go ahead, after it's all salted and layered, take a plate. My dinner plates fit perfectly in this bowl and lay them down to get all the liquid out. You're gonna leave it set there for 24 hours and then come back day two and we'll see what we got. So I just took the vinegar bottle off the bowl, but there's going to be some water and depending on how big your eggplant was, how much water, this isn't too bad. So I'm gonna go over and drain it Sorry if you're hearing the saw. My husband is off today and woodworking. So we're gonna go drain the water off um, and let it sit for a couple more hours and then we're gonna add the vinegar. So I will go do that and be back. So we had drained the water out, let it sit being pressed again with the heavy weight of the vinegar for a couple more hours, drained more water out. It was just a little bit. So now we're gonna cover it with just plain white vinegar and let it sit for another 24 hours soaking in the vinegar. That's all there is to it for right now. Just make sure it's completely covered. A little more. I have a feeling it'll soak it up. And we're gonna, I'll cover it and we'll let it sit here for overnight. what the eggplant is looking like. We're gonna go ahead and drain out the vinegar. Mm 
just like on day two, we're gonna go ahead and take our big vinegar bottle, weigh it down. Let it drain out for two to three hours, and then we'll be back. All right, so we've been draining out, pressing out the last bit of vinegar. Oh yeah, and you can smell the vinegar. I'm gonna grab some paper towels and just really press out any of a little bit of leftover moisture that's in here, which there's really Didn't even plan that, and it just worked out. There we go. Next, it's time for the seasonings. I'm gonna go ahead and put in two cloves of garlic. Um, this is elephant garlic from my garden. So they're extra big cloves. I'm gonna do two of them, so it's probably like the equivalent of four. Again, our family, me, likes garlic. Woo, out lost it there it up a little bit, get the paper off. Man, it's really sticky. There's that. And that one. There we go. Get the sticky garlic off me there. Um, I'm just gonna use a little bit of oregano in there. I mean, this is an Italian dish, right? So I'm going the Italian route. You can really do whatever spice combination you want. I mean, a whole host of Italian spices, right? Parsley, rosemary, thyme. I don't want to put too much. Let's hope it doesn't come pouring out. There we go. There we go. But I'm going to go the simple route and keep it with garlic and olive oil. And that's it. Or olive, garlic, and oregano. Ugh, I'm getting ahead of myself. And then I'm going to do half light olive oil, half avocado oil and completely submerge all the eggplant. You can use canola oil, you can use vegetable oil. Um, I just don't have those on hand. This is my preferred usage of oils is avocado and olive. Like I said though, unless you really want a strong olive oil flavor, uh, use the light tasting olive oil. It's what I use for mayonnaise and you should be good. So we'll just go ahead and fill it up. Let's do part. Avocado. Okay, I want heavier on the avocado than the olive. Got away from me. Brand new bottle. Finish off the rest. Now you want to make sure you leave some headspace in the jar. But you also need to make sure that all your eggplant and garlic are under the olive oil so that they don't go bad, don't go rancid, don't go moldy, don't go giving you food poisoning. Keep them under the oil. And I'm just gonna make sure, I'm taking a knife, just a regular little knife, and moving it all around to get all those air bubbles out of there. You do not want air bubbles in this. Again, to keep from having it go bad on you. 
there we go. They are all under the oil. Shut it up. You can eat this, take it out and eat it right away, but to really let those flavors meld together, give it about a month. Um, like I said, as long as everything's under the oil, you go ahead and you can put it in a dark area, cool dark area. Like I'm gonna probably put mine in my basement, good area for it. Um, if you are nervous, which is completely fine, I get it, um, about it going bad, go ahead and just pop it in your fridge. But again, just leave it in there for a while before you go eating it to get the best flavor out of it. So anyway, that was my solution to a bunch of eggplant that only I'm eating. I wanted to mix it up a little. If you've liked the recipe, you like what you've seen, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the like button. And also stay tuned at the end of this video to see some wacky, tricky antics going on. And I hope you all have a great rest of your week. Bye. Highlander, what did you do? What happened? Aww. There we go, he's fixed. And she is not happy with said metal chicken. She has been coming around all morning. Here she comes. What is she gonna do this time? And I'm standing right here, she does not care. She does not like this metal chicken at all. Am I gonna have to go put him somewhere else where you can't see him or reach him? He's not gonna hurt you. Ducks are curious too. Oh, Highlander. Yeah, she totally took him out once. Obviously she wants to do it again. And there we go. Alrighty then. So I just stood it back up. Literally just stood it back up and look at her. She is not happy unless it's going down. Oh, hi, hi. What are we going to do with you? Huh?